let's see today we see about the cantilever beam with uh, uvl uniformly varying load in our last lecture we see about the cantilever beam with udl small difference is uh, between the udl load and uvl load in our last uh, session we see about uh, the most of procedure is same for this uh, experiment also only two difference we have that one is element split up and then load applied this is the two things can be varied uh, between the in our last class lecture and today lecture now this is the cantilever beam with uh, uh, varying load the load is applied to entire span entire length the load is uh, 3 kilo newton per meter the length is 4 uh, meter so now going to draw the uh, beam by using FEMAP software most of uh, procedure is same as well as last lecture curve line continuous Here the starting point is 0, 0, 0 and then second point is 4 because x length is 4 meter so give 4 ok cancel yes I, I would like to continue uh, close the continuous line now going to select the material with the help of uh, model material load the steel as a material ok and then again ok cancel now going to uh, do the property select the property with the help of model property give the title as property select the material and then element type is beam ok select the shape of the beam rectangular ball height as give the height as 1 and then width as 10 give draw section ok again give ok and then cancel now going to uh, mesh with the help of mesh mesh control size along curve just to pick the curve ok and then now here uh, number of element is 1 because because the load is uh, applied entire span so we consider only a single element ok give element number is 1 ok in our last class uh, we, we see about uh, udl we give the biased uh, uh, option setting because the the beam can be split up by two numbers so we used the bias here the beam is uh, single because the load is applied on entire span so give the number of element is one ok then cancel again going to mesh geometry cow pick that cow ok select the property as a title ok now give the vector other define element orientation vector as base give the both value as 0 tip give the x value is 0 y value is 1 z value is 0 give ok now going to constrain with the help of model constraint nodal give the title as constraint constraint ok select the end of constraint ok it's a cantilever beam so fixed yeah, i can give the fixed ok and then cancel now going to apply the load with the help of model load on element give the title as load 
okay select the beam okay give the distributed load give that distributed load in da s zero because here load is uh, three kilo newton at fixed end and then free end the load is zero so we can give NDA here uh, here this is the NDA here this is the NDA this is the NDB so give the uh, NDA as 0 and then NB L, uh, value as 3000 minus 3000 3, because download direction mm, denotes the minus sign 3000 load 3000 load can be applied give okay in y direction okay so now load can be applied like this fixed end the load is 3 newton free end the load is 0 sorry 300 newton uh, free end 0 here also a 3000 newton free end 0 now going to analyze with the help of model Analyze new titleless analysis view. Okay, then view analysis. Just wait a moment, the result can be loaded. Now it, it will be loaded. The load result continue. So the result can be uh, analyzed now going to see the result with the help of give uh, directly press the F5 or uh, view going to view and then select okay deform beam diagram deform and contour data give the shear force plane 1 here also select the shear force plane 1 give ok and then ok this is the shear force diagram like this this is the shear force diagram like this here the maximum shear force is maximum shear force is 6 here also the 6 means 6 kilo newton here 6 kilo uh, 6000 the result is gives perfectly and then now going to view the uh, bending moment diagram press f5 deform and contour data select plane 1 momentum and then plane 1 momentum ok and then ok this is the bending moment diagram like this the value is 8 kilo newton 8000 minus it indicates the minus value here also the maximum value gives 8000 the maximum value gives the 8000 in minus value okay and also view a result by another method uh, list output and query see this list output and then query by using this method also view a result okay if you like this video, subscribe and share. Thank you.